taunted Hogg on Twitter earlier this week about being turned down by several colleges, writing, David Hogg rejected by four colleges to which he applied and whines about it. Hogg immediately fired back, tweeting, So, Ingram Angle, what are your biggest advertisers? Asking for a friend. Hashtag boycott Ingram adverts. Just today, Office Depot added its name to the growing list of companies pulling the plug on ads on her nightly show on Fox News. Ingram did apologize to Hogg in a tweet for any upset or hurt she may have caused to, quote, the brave victims of Parkland. Now, we reached out to Fox News for comment. They referred us to that tweet. Tom. Lindsay, thanks. Well, guess what? It takes two to tango. All you companies that think you're going to boycott Laura Ingram, we're going to boycott you. Because I don't want to hear from some snot-nosed douchebag kid about gun control. A kid that's too stupid to know which end is up. I don't want to hear from 17-year-old children on matters that are as important as the Constitution when none of them know history. These kids are functionally illiterate and half drug crazed out of their mind. And most of these school shootings are done by the children to other children. And because a bunch of degenerate, slothful FBI agents and cops won't do their jobs doesn't give you the right to fuck with the citizenry at large like you did on 9-11. Our government did 9-11 in every way. Just follow the money. So you want a war, we're going to give you a war. This is not the time to be pissing off the right wing in this country because we fucking had it. We have flat out fucking had it with the Mullers, the Comeys, and the complete deep state bullshit institutions that we've suspected for many years, okay, were the antithesis of everything we were reared on and what to believe. You want a safe space, children? Go back to my generation and pick a foxhole in Vietnam. Or my father's generation that had to lay and die on the beaches in every shithole in this, con- in this world, okay? So one day little pricks like you could fucking deconstruct our constitution. But at this point, maybe the wrong side won World War II. Because we certainly didn't need to have 60 fucking million people die at the, at the hands of criminal governments from the Germans to the English to the Americans to the French, because you're all guilty. You want to believe that the Nazis rose out of a vacuum. We had as much hand in creating Adolf Hitler as just about anybody. And Joe Stalin. The sin is on all of us, but I don't want to hear little children snowflakes, okay, that have been miseducated and uninformed for their whole lives with their feel-good snowflake propaganda. Do me a favor and shut the fuck up and go get a job. Work two years in your life. Grow some hair on your ass and then come and tell me what you think.